All right, so let's talk about DVDs and Blu-rays that are coming out. Triple uh, X, the return of Xander Cage. Uh, that should have been Triple X colon. Uh, we just can't call it Fast and Furious, you know, <laughs> uh, because if you will look at the trailer, it looks like it's just the exact same movie except there's well, some yeah, skateboards. Well, yeah, especially since Fast and Furious mm-hmm. has gone from street racing to like covert op missions and spy right. has it really oh yeah oh, for sure i yeah. haven't paid any attention to it but, uh, <laughs> they got chased by an, yes. uh, a submarine in the arctic on the last one yeah it was fantastic it's great stuff <laughs> yeah so and the next movie is resident evil the final chapter uh like i remember watching this movie thinking uh well this is you know um i'm hoping this isn't a documentary is where we're headed as a species mm-hmm. uh but uh uh, you know, the final chapter, it's always a dubious term. You want, well, if it made enough money, there might be another one, you know. the um, This is the kind of movie where I don't even remember how many movies there have been. There are guilty pleasures with me. I like going to see them. Neil and I go with, like, four other people in the theater. But these always make their money back overseas, especially in Japan where they make the games. And uh, I just started playing the uh, most recent Resident Evil game right now, and it's absolutely terrifying. And it's way better than the movie, <laughs> this movie. So uh, if you want to get a Resident Evil fix, just get the game right now, and you could skip this movie. But if it's a guilty pleasure, let me put it this way. This movie doesn't do anything different than any of the other movies did. <laughs> it's pretty <laughs> much just what you would expect if you've seen the other films. There's, so it's almost like they're just like making the game. It's just for the game. It's it's, it's pretty much it's for the game. It's just to drive the game. Every once in a while, one breaks out a little bit. There was one, I can't remember if it was like the third one or something, where it was really stylized and kind of cool and like really like... Uh, it was all, and like in 3D, it was like almost something to prove. Like, yeah, we're going to make this kind of a really cool movie. And then the one after that, I think it was four, the entire thing happened in like a holodeck. Like the whole movie it was like, what? Did the director even show up for this movie? <laughs> like, uh, there, there's, there, they've been really uh, varying levels of quality, although you can't really necessarily use the word good for any of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they are guilty pleasures, they are fun um, if you can suspend <laughs> uh, any type of criticism. <laughs> Four of them. So uh, if you're a fan, check it out. But like I said, if you're a fan, play the game first before you see this movie. All right. Uh, and the next one is The Space Between Us. This one we almost saw with a fan. The, uh, the, one of the On the graphic right. novel, uh, um, one of the rewards was see a movie with us. And this was one of the choices, but we went. I think it ended up being Passengers instead. Right. So uh, <laughs> you guys went to a movie just with a random fan. So who gave it a Kickstarter? Yeah, thousand dollars on the Kickstarter. Oh, that's tier. cool. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's really cool. Yeah, <laughs> was it awkward? I mean, so, I suppose you don't want to say it. I don't. No, oh, yeah, it's great. All. They're yeah. film nerds because they're yeah, yeah they're super yeah, yeah. fans. So it's like we feel like we already know them because we're already. Into they just all sit. Things. You guys do three seats and they sat right in between you. And that's you, it. Oh, yeah, sit on my lap. Yeah, put them on your lap. They're very crowded movies that we go to. Yep. Then we then we have dinner and record a podcast with them. Yeah. Yeah. I actually went to a movie with Graham once and he went to go to the bathroom or get some food or something and he came back i think we we're the only ones in the movie theater i don't remember where we were or what we were watching but you mm-hmm. came back and he had a shirt oh, he just took a shirt off and then when he sat next to me i looked over and his shirt was just off <laughs> I, I can see that happening <laughs> oh going on the road time's on the road you gotta kill time like grammar are you okay yeah, it was like right, it was I like a, do this in the movie it's probably thing. like a Thursday afternoon yeah, or something. Yeah, it was something. a matinee for sure. Matinee. Yeah, yeah. We're just comics bored out of our skulls. <laughs> Nothing to do. Go to a mall. We watch some movie like, I don't know. I don't even know. What was the movie? I don't remember at all. Does it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You just came back with no shirt on. <laughs> And I think I didn't even like I I tried to do the thing where I didn't even like I'd look at him and didn't even act like it was a big deal like why <laughs> just to see how long you'd have to sit there before or did, <laughs> or did you maybe trade your shirt on for a thing of popcorn when you left or is that or was it just yeah, I might have fought a guy for some yeah, Twizzlers yeah. or something I don't know <laughs> things got weird in the lobby yeah. we were in, where, where were we you like offered to Bloomington, fight a guy Bloomington for, Indiana maybe. yeah I think so oh shout out to the comedy attic yeah, yeah there we go offered to fight a guy for a role in a King Arthur movie <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's actually how I got on Conan. Yeah. <laughs> they were like considering other comics, and I'm like, just bring those. Bring them. Line, line them up. I'll line them up. Line them up. I'll take care of them. See what happens. Bring one of these snarky <laughs> assholes. I'll fucking drop them. God, that'd be awesome if I could get on Conan that way. Line them up. Who do you got? 